thank you for coming out. Today, we have a press conference to deal with the untimely death of Janiah Simmons. We have behind me the family, and at this time, we'll start the press conference with Sergeant Mr. Doreen Aswood. Sergeant. Thank you, Doreen. Good day. Thank you for joining us today. I am Police Sergeant Dorian Aswood of the Bermuda Police Service Road Policing Unit. Many of you may recall on the 15th of July, 2018, in the early hours of that morning, young, vibrant Janiah Simmons had her life tragically taken away from her after being involved in a road traffic collision. Today, I have the privilege of having here with me today the family and friends of Janiah and the officer leading this investigation, PC Walter Jackson. In the initial stages of the investigation, it was believed that this incident was a single vehicle road traffic collision. However, as the investigation continued, as the investigation continued, critical information began to emerge and it was then that it was confirmed that another vehicle was involved. This was a silver gray Suzuki APV motor car. As a result, a male was arrested in connection with the incident and has since been subsequently released on police bail. Over the course of the investigation, we have made an appeal to the public to assist with information. And we are thankful for those who have come forward with information thus far. All tips have been useful in helping to piece together this very unfortunate event. Let me be abundantly clear. This investigation is not finished. We have some information to suggest that there were other occupants in the vehicle at the time of this collision. Those individuals, for whatever reason, have not done the honorable thing and have come forward. There are uh, many people walking around with guilty consciences and heavy loads on their hearts. Anyone with information should do the honorable thing and come forward. The manner in which Janaea's life was taken from her was callous. Having had first experience in piecing together this investigation, I cannot see or imagine how one could sleep at night or go on with their daily activities without experiencing uh, the fear of reprimand. It is now time for members of this community who know who they are to speak out. Your silence is being very disrespectful towards the, the memory of the deceased. Sorry. Those failing to do so, please be reminded that this is a crime and is punishable under law. This is a very serious matter. The life of a young lady with a very vibrant, bright future was tragically taken away from her family and her friends. If you have any information, now is the time for you to come forward and report what you know to us. Anyone with information can be in contact with either PC Walter Jackson or myself on the regular police number at 295-0011 or you can contact me directly at 247-1. 009. You do have an option. If you wish to remain anonymous, contact the Crime Stoppers number at 800-8477. These calls are managed by operators in the United States and they will only be interested in your information. I will now take any questions. I don't have that particular information as to how many occupants were in the vehicle at the time. Are you able to say why the person was released? It's just part of the investigation. Can you say if a male or female that were in this vehicle? Uh, you could appreciate the sensitivity of the investigation right now. So uh, at this moment, it won't be uh, in my best interest to report on that.
Any other questions? Does the family care to say anything? Anybody from the family at this time would like to say anything? Yeah. Um, I just want to say, if anyone knows anything, can they please come forward? Because this has ruined my whole family's life. And um, I don't have too much to say, but can you, can you help us out, please? Thanks. As you can see, there's a family behind me that is hurting. It is up to this community to put pressure on those individuals who are responsible and let's bring closure to this family.